Hey everybody! Welcome to Dave TV! Dave? I get all the email, I get all this mail. Dave, we want to see your feet, Dave! Let us see your feet! Now there we are. There's my feet as I'm sipping on a agua from Chipotle. So far, no E. coli for me. <laughs> I figure, you know, the E. coli scare with Chipotle, I figure, you know, they're probably taking pretty good care to make sure they don't have that repeated here on the East Coast, so it's probably pretty safe to go eating at Chipotle, but I am noticing the lines there are a lot shorter than they were last week. What am I watching lately? Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's the bat. It's the bat. It's a good old, um, good old Vincent Price movie. All right. So anyhow, people are saying, Dave, oh, Dave, 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 you shaved brave slave. Um, <laughs> what's the deal? I mean, the other day on Drudge, there's a big, there's a big piece on how. China Radio International is by, you know, an, ad, 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 an affiliate of it or whatever, some company that is indirectly controlled by the Chinese government and how they are buying time on 1190 W uh, CRW, okay, which is a radio station near me here in Northern Virginia. And, um, you know, the situation is basically, um, it's been happening a long time and it happens to a lot of stations, you know, stations get unprofitable, especially AMers, and so they sell their time, it's called brokered, okay, and you have this station 1190. And here we are, we've made it to our technology segment, our final segment of the program for today, where uh, we have all kinds of cool uh, tech news for you, and like as I've mentioned many times before. Anyway, it's, you know, it's in English and it sounds like an American station almost, it's, you know, they sometimes even play rock music on it and basically it's a uh, you know an arm of the Chinese government they buy time on the station and you know so you know it's like this big revelation that Reuters did you know like this is something brand new but it's happening all over the place for any carpet cleaning upholstery cleaning ah! go away I oy vey, I still look at this I still got one of these old uh, <laughs> answering machines <laughs> You know, I'm trying to do a Dave TV. I wish people would stop calling and interrupting me. But anyhow, you know, WTOP, as I've said many times before, they are, you know, they sell or lease one of their HD2s out to Russian-backed radio Sputnik. The Washington Post, uh, every couple weeks, runs a special um, Russian section that's produced by an arm of the Russian government or some affiliation. There's a Chinese special that you also see in the Washington Post every now and then. There's uh, a local TV station that has all these international channels on it, Channel 30, WNVC with a service called Megahertz, and they have, they have one channel that's 24-7 RT, which is that Russian English language service that's probably connected to the Russian government, and they probably get paid to carry, you know, so there's a lot of that going on, you know, uh, you know with the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission prohibits the foreign ownership of broadcast stations, but it doesn't prohibit foreign or even government connected broadcasters, foreign government connected broadcasters to um, buy time on various stations. So, you know, I don't think the, there's a, any, it's, and, and another thing is, it's, this is nothing new, that Reuters piece of the last couple of days is silly. You know, I mean, it might be a good idea, as I've said, that maybe WTOP, they might not look great if they're selling time to Vladimir Putin, someone connected to Vladimir Putin, but hey, if they want to make some money on it and nobody listens to that HD radio crap, why not? <laughs> ah! All right, folks, and this is a quick look at the, uh, <clears throat> One of my uh, DCR TV archivey things. I got a whole bunch of stuff in here, old you know HFS recordings and re old TV recordings from WUSA, WTOP TV, WMAL TV. A whole bunch of cool stuff. I got old you know vintage whatever. I got old T-shirts, whole bunch of stuff. But anyway, I just added to my collection all these cool and I don't know if you can see them here. <clears throat> Felix Grant and Paul Anthony shows. These are all on cassette, and one of these days I'm going to use the computer over there to get everything transferred over, but I got about 45 or 50 of these cassettes of uh, 
of, uh, no, look at that. Wow. Paul Anthony, Felix Grant, WMAL, classic recordings, a whole pile of them, a slew of them. So, as I say, you know, one of these days when I find the time, I will get busy and transfer them over. And a tip of the old camo cap to my friend, Dina. Dina passed away this past week. I'm, I'm losing a lot of friends this week. I lost Rusty Gibson a week or two ago and not losing another friend, Dina. Dina was a friend of a friend who, and she, oh, she really liked my website. She liked my camo pants hiker site. She was a big fan of Dave TV and DCR TV, and she actually made a birthday cake for me a while back and put this on it, a little uh, image of me. <laughs> Uh, I'll miss Dina. Dina was a great person. I liked her a lot. You know, uh, passed away uh, Tuesday of this week. So, uh, uh, tip of the camo camp to you, Dina. You know, she was she was always every 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 Dave TV. The minute they came out, I would email her, and she'd be the first person to watch them. So I will miss Dina. Uh, God bless you, Dina. Anyway, here's an interesting article in the uh, Washington Post, Red's Table Review. There's a new restaurant right near me here in South Lakes Village Center in Reston, Virginia. Red's Table, um, the Washington Post, uh, Tim Carmen over there at the Post did a review of it, and it's really kind of cool. But anyhow, this very first paragraph, he talks about someone selling the mushroom, selling mushrooms to this new restaurant, and I know that's my good friend Mark. Uh, I've gone on some hikes with Mark on my Camo Pants Hiker website. We've done some mushroom hikes. So check out camopantshiker.com and check out the mushroom hikes and other stuff linked down here. And uh, you can see uh, where Mark got some of those mushrooms that he sold to Red's Table. <laughs> and another thing I wanted to show you, uh, really cool, um, you know, when I was a kid, um, I lived here in Reston, Virginia, and... Um, uh, uh, uh. In 1974, my grandparents came to stay with us. I was just 16 at the time, and we were. It was It was Thanksgiving. It was Thanksgiving. They were here. They left on that Sunday following Thanksgiving. It was December 1st, 1974. They were driving back to New Jersey. It was raining with some sleet, and I heard about on the radio and the TV that there was a plane crash out in Loudoun County. A TWA plane hit the mountains out there near Mount Weather in western Loudoun County. Mount Weather is a is a uh, secret government installation that nobody at the time knew about, at least, you know, normal people. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was a very sad thing. But anyway, uh, WJLA has just produced this doc documentary and it is rather su surprisingly good. I was worried about Sinclair. I thought, you know, Sinclair's just going to do political crap. They're far to the right of even Fox News. They bought WJLA a year or two ago and uh, I thought, you know, hey, what are they going to do? And, and actually, this doesn't have any politics in it. It's just a really good uh, documentary. It's only half an hour long, but it's very well produced. Van Applegate and Jay Korf here. Um, watch it, please. It's You can get it from WUSA's website. There's the address there. Uh, I really liked it. It was very well done. It talked about the people today remembering the people that passed away and how they investigated it and the changes that came about from the crash. And it did make some major changes in the aviation industry. Fascinating article. Fascinating little documentary. Highly recommend it. Check it out. Yes. Wow. Hey, speaking of uh, Channel 7... Uh, new a uh, new uh, station. Okay, we got Channel Seven. They've got you know the regular ABC signal here, WJLA. Then we've got the Me TV over here on Seven Two, and of course the new Seven Three. Oh, look at that! Oh my word! Anyway, this is supposedly called Comet. There you go. It's a new sci-fi channel. It's got stuff, a lot of old movies with sci-fi edgy stuff. But look at that picture. That's not my TV, is it? Look at that. There, it's not the TV. It's something's wrong with Comet. Anyway, the the new thing about Comet is they're broadcasting the bottom of the picture on the top and the top of the picture on the bottom. It's called TV Flip. It's a new format. It's called Flip TV Flip and it's being broadcast Comet. Anyway, I've watched it before and it wasn't like this, so I don't know. Somebody over there at Channel 7, they, I, Channel 7, I guess, needs to fire their engineering staff because they don't know what the F they're doing, huh? <laughs> Thank you for watching Dave TV for the 5th of November 2015. Bookum Dino.